Hey guys, so I went to Lush yesterday. I didn't have time to film the video yesterday, but I wanted to um I wanted to keep it kind of all in the bag before I started using it. I wanted so badly to use some of it today, but um, I wanted to keep it all together so I could show you. Um, I have not shopped at Lush in a very long time. For those of you that don't know, Lush is like a bath product brand. They have a large range of different things. They have um, a really large uh, skincare line for your actual face, which I've never really been... Wayden really likes it. So really good. Um, okay. uh, he's gonna flip. Waylon. Okay. You like my perfume today. I'm wearing um, Burberry Weekend. It smells so good. I got it last year. And Waylon's gonna lick all of it off. Waylon, you have to... Okay, he's flipping out. He's never done this before. So he really likes the Lush stuff. Um, okay. Waylon, you're... Like in those movies where they like rub meat or like treats on the actor or something to like get them to to do something and he's no you've gotta you've gotta stop you can't eat gift you can't eat bath products I'll get calmed down god I'm like soaked now thanks buddy uh, so Lush is basically a bath product line smells so good they have Lush stores at malls those are kind of more few and far between although um, we do I think have about three malls um, around the Atlanta area that has a Lush store, three or four. Um, most Macy's now have a little area. Oh lord, he's chewing his little deer antler thing. It's gonna make noise. Um, but at least he's not attacking me, right? Uh, but yeah, they have them at most Macy's. Uh, the stuff, they, they market it as being very natural products, which compared to a lot of brands it is, it's not gonna be like totally, the whole thing isn't completely vegan or completely natural and organic stuff. They do have some items that are listed vegan if that's important to you and um, I mean overall they do have, still have some chemicals but it's better than a lot of other stuff that you buy. Um, so I bought the Rockstar soap and you can cut their soap. It's been so long since I've done a Lush video so I'm going to explain a little bit but um, they sell the soaps by the slice or by the chunk and you can get them to you can say I want to spend about this much on a soap and they'll cut it for you or you can buy the pack or the pieces that are already packaged but the Rockstar soap is Brad's favorite. It's my favorite too. That and Honey I Wash the Kids but I think Rockstar is one of my favorites or is my favorite soap. Um, it smells to me like bubblegum and strawberries. Oh they also have hair stuff too. I did get some hair stuff that I think I'm the most excited about the hair stuff that I got. Um, this is what I went specifically to get. Um, you guys all know that I love my John Frieda shampoo that is the um, color renew that's that's purple for blondes and I really like the shampoo to be very pigmented and they have Daddio which is very pigmented purple um, my mom used it and she really liked it she has blonde hair too but um, that was a long time ago and I just never bought it but look you can see this one is so pigmented it did great with hers it is really purple um, I like if I'm going to spend the money to get like a purple tinted shampoo to neutralize the brassiness and to really brighten my blonde, I like it to be very pigmented. I spent a lot on a Pureology one about six months ago and it just barely had any pigment to it at all. It was the one that was called Perfect for Platinum or something. Uh, but I find the John Frieda is the best for the money. This one is expensive, but I did want to try the Lush one. And it smells alright, um, well, from what I remember at the store. It just smells kind of soapy. Uh, the Retread is my favorite Lush conditioner. The American Cream is good too, but it's lighter. I really like the scent of that one, but the Retread is more intensive, and it has a smell kind of like, um, uh, like food or something. I just, I love the smell of this. It's like a really comforting, sweet, like oat smell, but also like that smell like silk shirts. That sounds really strange, but it's really nice, and um, I use that as conditioner, and I haven't had one of those in at least six months. I've just been using different conditioners, and I haven't really been using Lush hair products, so I'm so excited to have another thing in my retread. Um, this was new, and the guy that worked there um, like did a little demo on my hand. It's called Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I guess like argan oil, and what you do is you use it in the shower, 
and um, after you wash and everything, you smooth it on and um, I probably would step out of the stream of the shower and smooth it on and like let it get on my skin for a little bit and then rinse it off. I mean you don't have to leave it on your skin for a long time but just so that it's not completely just washing down the drain doing nothing. Um, but yeah, my hand when he rinsed it off felt so soft that sometimes I don't always have time to like fully, you know, use a ton of body lotion and really, but my skin needs it though because my skin's really been um, in bad shape this winter. Like my hands and stuff, they get so dry. And I haven't used it in the shower, but I did use it at the store on my hand and kind of up my arm and it smells really good. It's almost like, it's a really like rosy smell. I guess why I like it's like rose, like a name, but it is like rose flower. But um, it smells really sweet, like very sweet rose, I guess would be. Um, and then all this other stuff, I got uh, a couple of samples. I think he gave me like one of those face serum samples, you know, that's the bar, which I had one of those a long time ago, and I liked it. This is Skin Shangri La, some kind of moisturizer. Very funny about moisturizer though. So. Oh, these are fun. Okay, these are new, and they're called Bubble Runes, kind of like Macaroon. Oh, there's two red ones. I'm not sure what this is called. Now, the idea behind these, um, I'm going to get this off here. He's going to eat it. This one's called Rose Jam. Um, it's supposed to be like a macaroon. You know, use your imagination. I mean... It doesn't look like a macaroon, but um, this one smells so good. This is like really like rose oil scented, whereas the rose argan thing was really sweet rose. This one is very like rose rose scented. In the middle, it's got coconut oil. Is that what he said? Coconut? Yeah. And you can break it apart and then use them separately. Um, a bubble bar is basically like the best thing ever. I don't like... I think they're so much better than using like a liquid bubble bath. So much better for your skin. It makes your skin feel so good when you get out of the bathtub. Can't wait. I'm gonna take like the craziest bath tonight. Um, see, like even just touching it, that got all over my hands. But what you do is um, you literally just need the size of each one of those. Some of the bubble bars are huge. Did I? Get, I don't think I got another one. Um, another big bubble bar. But you can break them into pieces. If you've got a larger tub, you may need a whole one. But you just run it under the water as the water is. Um, is running you crumble it under the water and it makes giant crazy bubbles and they smell like out of this world then I got this one and I'm not sure what this one was called this one smells kinda like citrusy coconut and it's um oh goodness okay this one like crumbled <laughs> I was trying to break it and it crumbled might use that one tonight oh goodness gracious oh no I gotta clean this up. Whale's gonna have bubbly in his mouth. The guy at the store said that was his favorite. I can't put my finger on what it smells like. I think it's citrusy. But then I'm also picking up like the coconut. But those are really great. And oh, this, yeah, this is a bubble bar. Um, it's called Dorothy. And I've never had one of these before, but they came out a couple years ago, I believe. Or maybe even longer ago than that. But I think they were like a limited edition thing. They may still be. Uh, but I don't know. Anyways, it smells really good, and it's a bubble bar. You can um, you can literally like break off the pieces. You would not need a whole one of these, I'm sure. Um, we have a pretty larger tub, and usually I just break one in half. Sometimes if I get crazy, I'll use a whole one. Usually if I'm going to use like a bath bomb and one of these, I'll just use half. And the bath bombs, um, they just kind of fizz and put conditioners out into the water and scent your water, and it gives you a little bit of foam. And then this is one of, this is, a, this is a new massage bar. I think it's called like Love Potion or something. Let's see? This is the last one that my store had. It was a, um, it was a, a special one that they had for Valentine's Day. Massage bars are really nice because you can use them as lotion. They're very, they're very greasy though. Like, I really just like to use them for like massages or for whatever. And you can really kind of like not rub the product on like if you were going to massage somebody but you just kind of hold it in your hand and like right now it's already melting in my hand you just rub it and then you get the oils on your hand and then it just it's perfect um, that one smells really kind of like sweet and citrusy kind of like yeah it's just that, that one's very citrusy to me um, but that is what I got I'm really excited about it and Waylon is true I hope he doesn't 
got to clean that up off the floor. He's going for the bubbly crumbles that hit the ground. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you'll check out Lush because I love it. It's one of my guilty pleasures that I don't really um, get to a lot. Yeah, I might do a Lush favorites video because I do have some like all-time favorite things and some things I didn't pick up because I had you know a couple of them already. But um, it's really great and fun. It makes um makes taking a bath really fun. So I hope that y'all enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.